Hello, welcome to another iPhone and iPod Touch application tutorial session with Gemini Films. Uh, today we're going to go over a really cool app application which we've been investigating for analytics as you most know out there hopefully that most websites have an analytics system in the back end control panel but there's already this really cool one that exists out there Google Analytics and it's one of the big boys programs that they give away for free to tie in your website so you can track where your clients are coming from your customers um, what keywords you're getting traffic on uh, where they're coming from uh, setting up goals for um, your website so that you can and tracking them to see if the pages are working and this program uh, Google Analytics is now got a tie-in program for the iPhone and iPod touch let's take a look at it up in the top left or right here oops um, up in the top right here there's a program analytics you click it to initialize starts up it connects to your account now what I've done already is I went into the settings and set up my personal account, so my Gmail account along with my uh, password. And I've got most of my clients here, or just a, a couple of them that actually I, I work for them for SEO. And I've created a separate account for one of my clients at Lake Francis Cottages down here for so that we can get our AdWords account going. And we can start tracking to see um, what's going on with their traffic so that we can optimize our pages. So let's take a look here. What does it have? It has today's traffic results, a dashboard for the overview of your dashboard that you um, have interesting. Let's uh, zoom in here a bit more. Um, it's got your, vis your visitors, uh, where they're coming from, um, and how many, traffic, content-based results, an e-commerce area. It's got event tracking and goals, which if you're familiar with that, will, will um, uh, is based on conversion and setting up pages to track to see if they're working or not. whole bunch of visitor loyalty, depth of visit, languages and browsers. It gets into traffic reports, um, campaigns if you set those up. This areas, these areas I like, top content, content by title and landing pages. Um, again, they've got more e-commerce based reports that you can have automatically sent to you um, on a you know um, time basis that you can set up in the back end of Google Analytics. Um, so let's go into one of these areas and show you what's going on here. So if we go into today, TikTok takes a few seconds. It's just um, connect through the internet. As you can see, we had a spike there about a week ago, and that's after we uh, went out and we submitted their site to stumble upon to see what kind of traffic we'd, we'd get. Well, we got like 120 visitors, but you know sometimes the you know most of the time. Hits doesn't mean nothing. The amount of traffic doesn't mean nothing unless they're converting into what you want them to do for a return on investment or what you know what you want to be, you know, do you want to be talking to them? Do you want them to be purchasing something? If they're just there and they're coming to your site and bouncing, well, we don't really care about those because it's not really targeted. So it can show you a daily, you know, just today they've had nine visits. Um, unique visitors, nine. So they were all different. How many page views? the average uh, page views uh, based on the um, amount of unique visitors that were there as a percentage on um, the time on site approximately as a percentage bounce rates a little high so today there's a lot of visitors but they they were over 50 percent they were bouncing quickly so that's not good you want to keep that down usually um, they show you the kind of browsers that they're surfing in on here so you can see that uh, seven of them were from Internet Explorer and two of them from Firefox it also shows you the connection speed um, of the internet that the people visiting your site are coming in on. So you can see there's no dial-up here, so you can, you could, we could optimize that site more for video and flash-based content for these visitors, and there wouldn't be any problem with that. Um, traffic source overview, again, it shows you direct traffic, uh, referring sites uh, that you have links on, bringing in the traffic. Um, search engine percentage again it gets again into another area here of sources based on visits um, you can see that there's google organic listings that people are searching for uh, to bring in the individuals some from msn live search engine and a referral site called rentcottages.com which is seems to be working for one visitor a day which you know it depends on the amount of traffic that you need but this is pretty good again she's also got a blog on her site so we also track that and we can see that 
a couple of her posts and the keywords in the post are bringing in the individuals like this one wireton airfield um that's based on the tragically hip concert that's coming here and that's getting a lot of traffic so maybe she'll pick up some individuals for the weekend there for people staying up here or they'll choose to come up here again uh, since they found it so beautiful which it is up here in gray bruce um, again, beach and cottages. These are all different keywords across the site, which are bringing in individuals. Um, down at the bottom here is a pretty important area, and this one is based on goals. And you have to set this up in the back end of Google Analytics that helps you to see if people are going from one page to another to get to an end result so that they convert into um, a customer or a contact. And as you can see, she gets one or two every few days. Um, this th goes a little deeper and it shows you, you know, where they're coming in from uh, across the world. So you can see that we've had eight from Canada today and one from France. Hey, France, maybe they want to come over here for a vacation from Europe. Um, page views again.